just a quick update. It's the end of turn two in Across Suez, the Battle of the Chinese Farm. These are the final positions of turn two. The Israelis made a massive attack on their um, portion, player turn, of turn two, and pretty much just devastated a lot of my uh, uh, foot and mechanized units and even a tank unit. Uh, there's the Egyptian uh, destroyed pile and off to the left is the Israeli destroyed pile. I'm definitely not winning on points for destroyed units. However, he has a sizable tank and mech force at the, um, let me see, eastern part of the board. But I've set up a really weak blocking force. Um, his goal is to clear uh, this road here so he can start bringing his bridge on and make its way all the way up to, what is it, Metz, Metz Med, Metz Med, uh, which simulates the uh, bridge uh, crossing the Suez Canal and allowing more Israeli forces to cross and uh, disrupt Egyptian artillery and air defense uh, systems and supply back in the rear areas, which is not really represented in this game. Although the Israeli player does gain an additional artillery barrage per unit exited uh, off the map. Um, so anyway, I still hold the Chinese farm, barely. It's in the center there with the two Egyptian armored units. Everything else, like I said, is in a screen, but that screen will not hold up to uh, any Israeli pressure. Uh, he gets reinforcements next turn, which will probably, um, you'll see the Egyptian line probably vaporize down there. However, from the Chinese farm west, I hold a stronger position, uh, mostly in tanks, well, mainly in tanks, so I will get no combined arms benefits, um, yeah, which will hamper my attempts to block the road to the Israeli crossing. Um, however, I do get each turn two artillery strikes um, in which you just pick a unit that's adjacent to one of your units. Um, uh, it has to attack, they have to attack uh, separate uh, targets, but like if I pick the unit there at Chinese Farm e -Res 1, I know you probably can't see it, the e -Res 1 unit, I could just roll a die, and if I hit a one, or roll a one, then that unit's vaporized, gone, eliminated. And then I would get another one. Then I would get another one um, that I could target any units that are adjacent to one of my units. And same procedure. Let's say I wanted to get rid of, uh, or try to get rid of the Emir 2 unit. Um, it's adjacent to my 1610, so I would just... Uh, pick it, roll another die, and try to get a one. Um, very low odds, but, you know, when it uh, when you get it, it's a, it's a big deal. So, anyway, this is where we stand at the end of turn two. I will come back with an update at the end of turn three. Uh, I suspect the map will change quite dramatically in that time. So, uh, I'll talk to you later.